Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I'm editing a video and Casey is cooking. We are gonna have shrimp and grits tonight, so that should be good. Welcome back to the vlog. It is Friday night and we just got back from eating dinner and we had to run by Walmart and grab a few things. I got a really cute outfit from Walmart so I'm going to show y'all what I got. I got the whole outfit for only $10 so it's super cute. Okay so this is what I grabbed. I got this t-shirt. This is so soft. It reminds me um, of the Universal Threadline. That Target has it said this is the Time and True brand. I think it's a new brand at Walmart. I could be wrong, but it's super super soft. And I grabbed these shorts to go with them. Um, they've got some beaded little rhinestones on them, and they were on sale for five dollars. They were originally thirteen, and I got them for five. And then the shirt was. Um, seven dollars and I got it for five so I got the shirt and the shorts for ten dollars and this would be super cute to wear on just a casual day um but yeah that's what I picked up at Walmart I haven't ever seen that brand there before but it may not be new I don't know I always forget to when like I go to Walmart I'm never in there to look for clothes and I never look I always forget but they actually have a lot of cute stuff especially that um, brand time and true or something like that I'll link it below um, they have a whole a lot of those shirts in different colors and in like the tank tops as well so you'll definitely need to check those out I'll try it on and show y'all what the outfit looks like together okay so this is the outfit um, this is the shirt super super cute um, these are not the shorts that I bought these are just plain white American Eagle shorts. Um, the other shorts did not work. Okay, so the shirt is super cute. Love it. Feels really comfortable. The shorts is a bust. Um, they were so cute. Uh, um, so typically with like pants and shorts, depending on the brand, I'm anywhere from like a two or a four is what I typically wear. And um, these were a size three and I thought they looked small, but they were the only size they had. So I was like, okay, I hope this works. So um, if you can find these or this brand is the No Boundaries brand, definitely size up. They are made small. They fit, but they were just a little bit too tight for comfort. So I definitely should have sized up in these. Um, but that's okay i have plain white shorts anyways and it'll go fine with this shirt i wish they had more sizes but they didn't so that's a bummer hey guys it's saturday morning well it's like 12 o'clock casey went to go get tacos from our favorite mexican restaurant so we're gonna have those for lunch and then um buster's down here <gasps> say hey um, we're having this for lunch and then I've got to go get groceries and we have to return a couple of things. So that's what we're going to do today. And then Casey may be grilling tonight. I'm not sure what we're going to do tonight, but we'll see. Also, my makeup this morning, oh my God, irritated me to death. The stupid lash glue that I bought did not work and was not drying down and would not stick. So my eyeliner, everything was... A complete joke a high mess 
I was about this close from taking all of my makeup off and just saying, screw this for the day. It was just, mm, don't you hate that when like you're doing your makeup and you're almost done and then one little thing, like putting on false eyelashes messes your entire look up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I hate that. So needless to say, I have no lashes on and it's just, I'm just going with it. I've been watching Vampire Diaries for probably a couple months now and I'm on season seven and there's eight seasons. And I'm so sad for this to end. And when I actually finish it, uh, I hate every time I start watching the Netflix series, I get so attached to the characters. And then when it's over, I don't know what to do with myself. And I'm just like, no. And I know this can happen. Again, it happens to me every single time. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sunday. Um, we haven't done too much today. I completely forgot to vlog today. Um, we've just been kind of doing a whole lot of nothing. I cleaned up a little bit, but um, Casey's family is coming over um, tonight and we are making ice cream. So that's about what we're doing. Um, <laughs> Casey got Buster a little pool it is so cute and we were gonna put a minute today but it's storming right now so I don't know we may just wait until tomorrow but I'll show it to y'all it's this is the little pool he got it's so adorable I can't wait to put Buster in it but yeah it's I don't know if you can tell but it's thundering and it's lightning right now so we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow um last night we rearranged our entire living room and I will show y'all what it looks like. I wish I would have got some footage of what it was before but I'll, I'll kind of tell y'all when I go in there to show you and then what it looks like now. It looks so good. Um, don't mind my rug. It's drying. I can't put it in the dryer so it has to air dry but yeah that's that. Um, we picked some veggies out of the garden today and we I'm not even kidding we probably have like 25 or 30 peppers um, in our kitchen right now. I don't know what we're gonna do to eat all that, but I'm gonna have to look on Pinterest and try to find some recipes. We wanna make some salsa, so I may try doing that. I've never made it before, so I'm gonna have to try to find a recipe. Um, but we've got all kind of peppers, tomatoes, corn, okra, zucchini, y'all. And this zucchini we have, it is huge. I will go inside and show y'all. It's ridiculous how big the stuff is. So before we rearranged our living room, we had our TV on the mantle and then we also had our furniture rearranged, but I will show y'all what everything looks like now. Yesterday we got a, um, like an entertainment center for our TV to try to switch things up and it actually turned out looking really good. So I'll show y'all what everything looks like. Okay. So here is our mantle now and we used to have our TV up on top and then I kept the same decorations on the bottom and now we have the recliner in the corner and then we moved the couch and the love seat. Buster is always messing up my pillows um, and this is the new entertainment center we got. It kind of matches. Um, we have a bookshelf that's the same exact um, type of wood and it matches perfectly so that's why we went with this one and it actually looks really good and um, we were kind of surprised but everything turned out really cute it was a little worried at first that everything wasn't going to fit that it was going to be a little too jammed packed um because our living room is technically not the living room in the house um so it is smaller but um it's the room that's at the front door so we kind of switch the layout a little bit when we moved in and having the fireplace it's super pretty but it kind of limits us to what we can um 
mo like move as far as furniture and then of course our door so um having those two in our living room limits us to um decorating and how we can rearrange everything but it actually turned out looking really good it's not too overcrowded or anything like that and we're really liking it so far So I'm gonna go ahead and end the video here. I know I didn't get a whole lot of footage today, but I hope you enjoyed the weekend vlog. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video. Bye guys. <music>